Lesson 5.7, distance on the coordinate plane. Find distance on the coordinate plane. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. Distance, to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane, graph the points, then draw a right triangle with a C as a hypotenuse. So in this graphic, you can see how we have point A Point B created a right triangle, and our hypotenuse is the red line. Example one, graph the ordered pairs, three, zero, and seven, negative five. Then find the distance C between the two points, round to the nearest 10. Okay. So first thing that's us to do is to graph the ordered pairs. So here's a graph of the ordered pairs. So we have 3, 0, which is this point there, and 7, negative 5, that point there. They want to find the distance C between two points. So we're going to connect those two points. It creates a hypotenuse, that's C. So find the distance, so not round to the nearest tenth. So what we're going to do here is use the Pythagorean theorem. As you can see, we can count four units over on this leg. That can be our A. And we can count five units. That's going to be our B. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Plug in the numbers. Two, um, sorry, four squared plus five squared equals C squared. So uh, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, add those together we get 41, which is equal to c squared. Find the square root of 41, and we get positive or negative 6.4 is approximate, using the calculator. We know we cannot use negative numbers, so the points are about 6.4 units apart. And we use units because we do not know the units of measure here, so we just use the word units. Key concept distance formula. Symbols. The distance D between two points with coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2 is given by the formula D is equal to the square root of the difference between x2 and x1 squared plus the difference of y2 minus y1 squared. So you can use a distance formula to find the distance between two points on the coordinate point, coordinate plane. You can use the model from the key concept, which is up here. This is the key concept. To see how the distance formula is based on the Pythagorean theorem as shown below. So we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. That's our Pythagorean theorem. So for a squared, we substituted x squared, or sorry, x2 minus x1 to the second power. That got substituted in there. And for b squared, we substituted y2 minus y1 squared. And we find the square root of those two differences to find the distance. Example 2. On the map, each unit represents 45 miles. Very important to remember that. So that means each of these boxes here represents 45 miles. West Point, New York is located at 1.5 or 1.5, 2, which is right there. And Annapolis, Maryland is located at negative 1 half, negative 1 half, right there. What is the approximate distance between West Point and Annapolis? Okay. There's two methods to do this. The first method is to use the Pythagorean theorem. And we can create a triangle, like you see in the picture. So we're going to let C represent the distance between West Point and Annapolis. So there's C. So we can make from negative 1 half, we'll go over here. Erase that. We're going over 1 half, 1, 2, and another half, so that's 3. That's going to be our A. And it's going up two full ones. One, two, 
looks like maybe three and oh well, that's one two three and a half and we'll make that our b so we plug in the numbers for a squared plus b squared equals c squared so we plug in three squared which is nine plus three and a half point two add those two to get i'm sorry three and a half squared equals c squared that adds up to 21.25 find the square root we get positive or negative 4.6 the second method is using the distance formula. So we know the points, <clears throat> excuse me, we know the points for West Point is negative, I'm sorry, 1.52. And we know Annapolis is negative one half, negative one half. We'll make this x1, this x2. y1, y2. So x2 minus x1, plug in the numbers, you can see here, y2, which is 2, minus, sorry, y2 is negative 1 half, minus 2 squared, simplify that, negative 1 half minus 1 half, neg uh, negative 1 half minus 1 half is negative 3, negative 3 squared, plus negative 1.5 minus 2 is negative 3 and a half squared, so we end up with negative 3 squared is 9, negative 3.5 squared is 12.25. So we end up, you can see these are exactly the same. We're looking for the square root of 21.25, which is positive negative 4.6. So since, since each map unit equals 45, the distance between the cities is 4.6, which represents the units, times 45, or 207 miles. Example 3, use the distance formula to find the distance between x, which is 5, negative 4, and y, which is negative 3, negative 2. We're on to the nearest end if necessary. So let me make this x, I'll use a different color, x1, this will be x2, y1, y2. So our, our distance formula, x2 minus uh, the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So we're looking for the distance of x and y. So we plug in negative 3. We plug in negative 5. That's going to be squared. We plug in negative 2. And notice we have minus negative 4. Don't forget to put those parentheses because that will make that positive. So we end up with negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8 squared, which is 64. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. 2 squared is 4. 64 plus 4 is 68. Square root of 68 is positive negative 8.2. So the distance between points x and y is 8.2 units.